low. Hello. Hi, Joanna. How are you today? Um, a little bit uh, sick. <laughs> oh, wow. What, yeah. what did you get? I think I have an allergic. So I feel a, a little bit sick. Oh, my throat is hurt me. Oh, I understand. Uh, yeah, many people is suffering from allergy these days. Um, some people said that it's because of, we're uh, experiencing that a phenomenon called the polvo del sar, <laughs> something like that. Uh, yes, it's true. It's because uh, sometimes the, the weather is hot and suddenly the weather is, is cold, like yesterday, right? So. <laughs> yes, those sudden changes in weather also affect many people. But uh, thank you for being here, making an effort, and I hope that you get well soon. Thank you. Thank you so much. Nice to see you too. Nice, nice to have you here. And the rest of you, how are you doing? Good, Miss Flor. Hello, Jenny. How are you doing? Good. Um, very, very high today, but I, I. I want to learn English. Okay, that that is uh um, believe me, that's gonna work because uh, every time that you do your effort, at the end one day that effort will be um rewarded. Yeah, todo esfuerzo sí, tiene su sí. recompensa. Yeah. Uh, maybe it's not like uh, something that we want to see immediately, uh, but it's going to take a time, but it will come. Remember that good things, good things comes who those, uh, to those who wait, right? So be patient <laughs> and, and yes, practice every day and be punctual and uh, try not to miss classes. Um, the rest of you, how are you doing? You're doing good? Guess what? I see the icon for the breakout room. So today we're going to practice in groups, hopefully. <laughs> Hi, uh, Hi, how are you? I'm it's fine, good yeah. to see you. I'm doing fine. Thank you for <clears throat> asking. Um, well, it's eight o'clock and uh, it's time to start the class. So I sent a, a recent the presentation again. I modified it. I added like two or three slides because we are going to practice a little bit more on the topic that you told me yesterday. I took that in consideration and I added some more exercises for you to practice. So we're going to move on and uh, let's just start with the presentation. It's intermediate two. Okay, I'm going to share this. Um, okay, yesterday we practiced this conversation and yes, we were studying about two part verbs and we'll to res uh, for responding to requests. Are you able to see my screen? Yes. 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 Yes, awesome. teacher. Right. Um, great. So we have the two part verbs and the use of will for responding to request. And this is what we started discussing yesterday. Um, with nouns, um, we have these examples, turn down the TV. And we can split the two part verbs, putting the noun in the middle of the command. Okay, so we can say turn down the TV or turn the TV down. Another example we have here, pick up, pick up your things. And we can split the verb and put the noun in the middle. Pick your things up. 
So we can do it both ways and it's the same meaning. We can also use pronouns, okay? In this case, we are using the noun. What is the noun? The TV. We can say the same sentence using a pronoun. Instead of the noun TV, I use the pronoun it. Turn it down. Okay. In this case, we cannot split it. In this case, we have pick your things. The noun here is things. The pronoun for things is them. So we can say pick them up, right? We cannot say pick up them, right? So those are incorrect. Now to re um, for request and the responses, we're going to use will because those are spontaneous decisions. With spontaneous decisions, we use the auxiliary will. We have some examples here. Please turn down the music. Okay, I'll turn it down. Pick up your clothes, please. All right, I'll pick them up. That is why we use will responding to requests. Uh, is this clear or you have any doubts or questions in regards of the grammar focus? until here is clear. Okay, so we are good to continue. All right, I added some slides here since uh, yesterday, um, uh, you told me you feel like a little bit uh, complicated with this, how to date changing meaning. So I have some of them that are very common. I write them with the meaning and one example here in the first slide. We have first, Take off, take off. The meaning to begin flight. Hmm. I see a face like, uh, what? <laughs> Is, I have one example here. The plane will take off in two hours. Is that clear now with the example? Take off. Es como decir que despegar, si estamos hablando de volar, eh, cuando el avión despega, cuando deja la tierra, eso se dice take off, take off. Take off, take off. Right, so take off. The meaning, to begin flight. Example, the plane will take off in two hours. Now, take after. Take after means to resemble somebody's appearance, right? Mm -hmm. To resemble somebody's appearance, take after. Example, she takes after her mom. Is that clear? Yes, everything's yeah. clear. What is resemble? Es, es eh, tener un parecido. Tener un parecido a la apariencia de alguien. Cuando hablamos de eso, el verbo que se usa es take after. One example, um, well, I can say that my sister takes after my mother. Yeah, mi hermana se parece a mi mamá en físico, se, es, es semejante a ella, es, es como ver a mi mamá. So I can say uh, yeah. my sister takes after my mother. Um, I am adopted. Sure. <laughs> uh, I don't take after <laughs> my mother nor my father. <laughs> okay, thank you. Well, You're more than welcome. Teacher, teacher <laughs> I, have, I want to question. Okay, you have a question, right? Uh, what is that? It's, it's correct, you like, you like you, my sister, como tú te pareces a mí, pero usar el like you. Um, it's you look, look like. Look like, yes. Look, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, So it is a two parts, también es un two part verb. So no se puede usar, so tienen que ir los dos, look like. Uh -huh. Look like. Yes. 
Gracias, teacher. Okay. Now, eh, so estos les van a servir mucho. Por eso se los puse acá y los agregué a la presentación para que practicáramos phrasal verbs que nos pueden servir mucho eh, in, a, in a daily basis. Uh, take over. Take over means to get control. For example, the company was badly in need for restructuring when he took over. Okay, meaning that probably the company um, uh, was in urgent of a change when somebody else took over. Yes, it's to take or to get the control. Okay. What is the meaning of badly? Badly is like an urgent need. It's como a, um, a con urgencia. Oh, okay. Thank you. Now, okay, you're welcome. We have take on. Take on means to accept job or responsibility. Don't take on more responsibilities that you can handle. That's one example. Questions so far? No questions? Yes, I think I'm going to apply the, the last one. Don't take one more responsibility that you can handle at my work. <laughs> yes, you shouldn't do that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, you can apply that one to your daily life of work. Remember that one every day. Don't take on more responsibilities that you can handle because at the end you're gonna get sick. They just gonna get another employee. <laughs> I totally get that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Definitely. Mm -hmm. We have some more here. But in this case, I didn't write examples. You are going to write examples using those ones. We have phrase out verbs. We're going to discuss them. And then I'm going to give you time for you to write down some examples in your notebook, right? So the first one, take a side. Take a side. Take a side. Yes, have you heard that one, a side? Aside, es como a decir aside, solito, es como decir, hazte a un lado, apártate, right? Uh, por ejemplo, si el, la mascota está molestando, usted tiene una visita y dice, hey, Canelo, aside, please. Right. Sí, hazte a un lado, apártate. Like when you see take aside, es como um, with somebody, you get someone alone to talk to them. Take aside, get someone alone to take to talk to them. Now, the other one is take off. Take off means take to off. remove, remove, cheer up, become happy, cheer up. That's become cheer happy, cheer up. Become happy. Throw out to discard, oh. throw up to vomit, yeah. Disgusting, <laughs> turn down, is to decline or refuse, reject, keep up, stay even or ahead. Now, kick out, stop or disconnect suddenly. That happens frequently when we are trying to, <laughs> to do maybe an urgent job or, or some or an urgent report and suddenly the internet kick you out. And you're like, oh. Okay, so in this case, kick out is to disconnect or to stop suddenly. Um, try it on, put clothes on to see if they fit. Find out, discover as by asking or investigating. Okay, those are the ones that I got for you. Any questions here? Is there any one of those which is not really clear yet? Everything good. Okay, everything good. Okay, so we are going to move on and 
I would like you to write a couple of examples using any of those phrasal verbs. Sentences using those phrasal verbs. Hi, uh, could you give us um, some example to draw throughout? Throughout. Okay. Yes, please. Um, for example, um, let's say that I went shopping and um, a, the store was in another country, right? I went and buy a perfume. When I came to my house, I found out that the, that the spray didn't work, but I cannot go back to that country and return that item. So I will have to throw it out. Thanks. Okay, Byron. I, I just, I want to confirm something. I had one sentence using the phrasal verb. I don't know if it's okay. Uh, well, it's the first that I made, but I think I, I mean, uh, well, I would say it is keep going, you will make it at the end. Can I change like keep up and instead it will be keep going? It's okay or, or not? Yes, that one is a good example. Excellent. Okay, thank you. Is there anybody else who would like to participate or share a, another example? Remember to always have your notebook and your pen handy. Uh, can I participate again, just to make sure if I got a, a good example? <laughs> you go ahead and take advantage of this class. Do it. <laughs> uh, for take a side, it could be like, please take a side from them because I, they are they are very drunk. Mm. Or it's something wrong in the sentence. No, that one is okay. Uh huh. Or if. I'm going to take you aside. Yeah. Okay. Te, te, okay. Te voy a apartar, or I need to take you aside or I need you to stay aside of them. Yes. It's a very good example. Yes, you can apply that one. Any other Thank example? You. You're welcome. Thank you for your participation. In this, in that case, and take a side, we can put the name of the, the of the person uh, before or after. Uh, it's not the it's not a problem. For example, medic, take a side. I need to to tell you something. Ah, yes, you can say, uh, Mary, I will take you aside because I need ah, okay. to talk to you. Uh -huh. you can say, I will take I, you aside because um, I need to talk to you. I will. Mm -hmm. yes. Need to add will. Okay. Thanks. Yes. Uh huh. So, so we are making something like uh, at the moment or spontaneously we use will. Mm -hmm. Siempre que sea algo espontáneo, algo de momento, algo que estamos haciendo, eh, de pronto decidimos hacer, utilizamos will. Como De repente vi una situación mala ahí. Mira, te voy a llevar para acá porque necesito decirte algo. I will. Yeah. Because it's something at the moment. Any other question? Or maybe any other example that you would like to share? Me, teacher. Okay, thank uh, you. My brother takes after my father. Is correct? Yes, excellent sentence. Very good. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Any other volunteer? Teacher? 
For example, uh, I I want to take off my jacket because it is very hot. Excellent, excellent. Any other volunteer? I like to choose um, two options. Maybe cheers, cheers up when I practice escalada and I like my friends cheers up and going. Or the example to use, um, I, I try on to share my McDonald's papitas with my other friends. Okay, the examples we'll cheer up are excellent. And the, the last one, I couldn't get it very well. It was, it was it with try on? Yeah, I use it. When I say, um, I try on to share my McDonald's papitas. Okay, in that case, very good. Thank you so much, Ruben. But we're okay. going to use try on when we are talking about putting clothes on to see if they fit. Okay. Only with uh, when you try on something to see if it if it fits. Like for example, when I go to the department store, I don't like to try on the clothes. I just purchase them and it's then I close. try them on my, at home. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Me too. <laughs> mm. <laughs> So that one is just when you, um, como probarse algo, refiriéndose uh -huh. a la ropa. En ese caso, estamos try on. Mm -hmm. Try on. I cannot find yes, any example for keep up. Can you explain to me a little bit more, please? Eh, keep up es como mantenerse a, al día. Uh -huh. Keep up. Ah, okay. Thank you. Yeah, so you can say, um, I'm studying um, to be a hairstylist, so I read magazine to keep up with the last um, uh, fashion, yeah. For example, I keep, keep up the newspaper every day. Um, yeah, you can say I always read the newspaper or I read the newspaper every day to keep up on COVID news, for example. Y es como para estar okay. al día con las noticias de tal cosa, para estar al día, just keep up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Teacher, did we say yesterday I didn't come to work and today I keep it up? Ah, yes, it's a good example. Any other one? Teacher, um, move on is a phrasal verb too. Yes. Move on means to continue. Any other question? Yes, teacher, do you have any, any kind of list about first of all that you can share with us to practice when we are not in these times? Yes, I'm going to send you some of the ones that I found. Uh, let me see. I found some. I uh, just uh, for example this one I just shared some of them with you all right so um, let's read them I shared it in the whatsapp group so for example we have to carry on take off Pass away, look after, 
look for, hold on, run out, wake up, go back, give up. They are also very useful. And uh, let's see, for example, run out. Uh, well, in that case, I have heard uh, something like, I am running out of time. Yes, uh-huh. So we can say when when it's night, hey, we run out of time. We need to leave. We will continue next Monday, right? We run out of time. Or for example, we went to a run and um, let's see. We went to um we went to Guatemala, right? And we run out of gas. Yeah. Run out of es cuando algo se termina, ¿ya? Ese lo tienen ahí en la listita que les acabo de, de, de mandar. Run out. Give up. Or when no. we are... Yes, Jose. Yeah, when we are at the end of the month and we, are, and we don't have any more money we can say we are not, we are running out of money yes <laughs> i <laughs> run out of money yeah you can say that happens uh, yeah we got paid today and monday you say oh i got i run of money <laughs> please pay me now mm -hmm. <laughs> okay very good example jose we run out of money. Mm -hmm. So yes, I'm going to look for more examples like this one that I already sent, and you can try to uh, build sentences using them, like the ones that you just did, like using run out. Yeah. And this one is very well known to give up, is to stop trying something, yeah. Mm. Do you have any question about those that I already sent? No question. Okay, I will send you more material like this and uh, let us continue. Hi, I see more people here, it's connected. That's nice. Now, remember the ones that we, um, studied at the beginning the grammar chart that we had let me put this down okay start sharing again okay we have this we have the phrasal verb here and we have some pictures right and let's see let me make it bigger yeah. All right. So complete the request with these words. Then we're going to compare. We have the books, the toys, the music, your jacket, the TV, your boots, the yard, the lights, the trash, the cat. And the number one, it's already done. Pick up. I cannot say pick up the yard or pick up the music. The, the correct word here is the toys. Pick up the toys, please, right? Now we have turn off. The music. The yes. TV. Oh, my. That can the be. Oh, the TV. The TV. The mic. Okay, we got different options here. So you can write them in your notebook. Um, you can just write the words. You don't need to write the whole sentence because that's gonna take a lot of time. So just write number one, the toys, number two, the lights, number three, and the, the noun yeah. that, you, that you select. That's what you can do. I'll give you a couple of minutes and then we're going to share. Thank 
Yeah, boats. Okay, um, time. Let's see. Uh, we have number one. It's done. Jocelyn, can you read what you have for number two? Okay. Um, Tom, Tom, the TV off, please. Okay, good job. Ruben, number three. Number three, clean. The yard up, please. Okay, very good job. Let's continue with number four. Volunteer. Please put the book away. Very good, good job. Uh, number four, volunteer. And, uh, I'm sorry, in a number four. Let's put the trash away. Down. The trash, uh, yes. Uh -huh, the that can question. be put your put the trash away. Mm -hmm. It can be your boots too. Yeah. Imagine that they are very dirty, so you can say, "Hey, please, put your boots away." Put your boots. <laughs> yeah, that is a valid answer as well. And the trash, yes, it's another good good option. Uh, number five, volunteer. Please turn down the music. All right, excellent. Number six, a volunteer. Please take off your jacket. Please take off your jacket. Very good. Take off your jacket. Can I use it with your boots too? Please stay off. Your yes. Yes, yes, absolutely. You can use it like that. Please take off your boots. It can be your jacket or your boots. Any of those two options are okay. Now, number seven. Volunteer. Hang, hang your, hang the jacket up, please. Yes, very good. Hang your jacket up. 
please. Very good. Number eight, volunteer. Please take out the trash. Please take out the trash. Very nice. Uh, number nine. Please let the dog out. Okay. The dog. Yes. Please take the dog out. And the picture. Could be your boots. Could be your boots. Uh, take out your boots. Yes. Yes, that could be. The cat, right. Um, even yes. the dog or the, the cat, right? Yes, please take out the dog. Please take out the cat. Mm -hmm. Take out the kids. También puede ser. Saca los niños. Take out the kids. Take them to the park. Um, your boots as well. If they are dirty, say you can say that one. Um, and finally, number 10. Turn on the light, please. The light. The light. Turn on the light, please. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very, very good. Turn off the music, please. That is a good one as well. As you can see, I already sent a phrasal verbs list. It's 30 sentences. Uh, you can find them in your WhatsApp group. And the interesting thing here is that you have the example in a sentence, you have the phrasal verb in blue, and you have the meaning of the, the verb, the similar meaning in parentheses. For example, we have the number one. It's she did well enough bringing up two sons and a daughter on her own. Okay, and we have entre parentheses raise. Okay, so en este caso, el phrasal verb bringing up quiere decir criar, ¿verdad? Y la oración está, lo estamos utilizando en una oración como ejemplo. Ella dice, ella hizo muy, muy buen trabajo criando dos hijos y una hija, ella sola, right? She did well enough bringing up two sons and a daughter on her own. And this is a uh, 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 very well. And you say another one, it's a very interesting. Um, number five, that flight just came in. Que significa came in? Llegar, arrive. Okay, so you can say the flight just came in. It meaning que el, el vuelo acaba de llegar. That came in is arrive. Uh, Oh, we have a number seven. The baby threw up all over my shirt. Yeah, threw up. It's to vomit, as I told you with the previous slide. <laughs> yes. So you, it, this is very nice. Please read all the examples and try to build similar sentences. Uh, it, this is a very, very good material. Okay, okay Alexander, you have any questions? Yes, uh, for example, in the previous list that, uh, for example, uh, in the word, uh, sorry, carry on, uh, I can use, uh, for example, I can, I can say, I carry on my career. Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Okay. Any other question? Okay, so yeah, you have that one. And it is a good, and if you have the chance, if you have the opportunity or the to print the material, you can go ahead and do it and that's gonna help you a lot. Okay, we're going to move to the next thing. It's pronunciation, the stress in two part verbs. What do you understand by stress in this case?
what are we referring with the stress in this case? No ¿Cómo idea? pronunciar bien las, las, las palabras? Uh, yes, it has to do with pronunciation. So we're going to watch the video about pronunciation, stress in two part verb. When we mean it's stress, is that you raise your tone of voice. In, in Spanish, we call it acento. Yeah, that in English, it doesn't exist. It is called stress. Let's watch the video. Hi again. Remember not only understanding grammar is important, but also pronunciation is as important. Please listen and practice the stress in two part verbs. Pronunciation. Stress in two part verbs. Part A. Listen and practice. Both words in a two part verb receive equal stress. Pick up the toys. Turn off the light. Pick the toys up. Turn the light off. Pick them up. Turn it off. Now that you have listened to the stress, go ahead and practice saying the following two part verbs. Okay, as you listen to the recording, okay, stress is, um, you can see this little, you can see these little circles here. They are meaning that the stress is there. Pick up the toys, you see? Pick up the toys, right? So the Pick most important the words are stress, right? Pick up the toys. Turn off the light. The toys. Yeah, el de casi no suena. So it is uh, very important that you bear in mind that the most important words in English are stressed. So you don't have to um, um, to understand every single word that a person is saying. You can get the general idea of what people is talking about or what they are requesting or what they are talking or what they are saying to you just by picking up those words that are stress. That's a tip. Okay, so let's uh, you can practice here. Pick up the toys. Turn off the light. Pick the toys up. Turn the lights off. Turn the Pick them up. Turn Pick it off. Up. Turn it off. Yeah. And the teacher, can you repeat again the picking them up? Pick them up. Pick them up. Okay. Yeah, pick them up. Pick yeah, them it's up. like you put the, the words together. Up. Pick them up. Yeah. Pick them up. Yeah, it's like pick yeah. them up. Yeah, it's los unimos, pero hacemos como. Como una, como si fuera una vez con el, con el tono de voz. Pick them up. Pick them up. Pick them up. Pick them up. Excellent. Thank you. Pick them up. Turn it up. Turn it up. So, yeah. Um, any question here? Are we okay here? Yes. Okay, so we can continue with this. Um, this is the word power. It's this household chores. Uh, we, we refer uh, to whole heart chores. What is that one? What is that word? What is the meaning of that word? What do you understand by household chores? Mm -hmm. It's exactly this. It's activities that you develop at home. For example, you, uh, when you clean the house and dust the things, you um, tied up the rooms, 
mop the floor, do the laundry, do the ironing, cook the meals. Those are household chores. It's like que hacer del hogar. That is the meaning of this word. Take a shower the dog. Uh, wash the dog, yes. <laughs> okay. Um, find a phrase that is usually paired with each two part verbs. Some phrases go with more than one verb. And then add one more phrase to each verb. Okay. And uh, we have some. Um, okay. We have some two part verbs and then some other words that we can put together here like the kitchen, the bathroom, the living room, and the bedroom. For example, clean up. Let's select two that can be here. Clean up what? The mess. I can say clean up the kitchen. Yes, clean up the kitchen. Another possibility. The bathroom. The bathroom. Okay. Clean up the bathroom. Okay. The, micro, the microwave, can we use that as well for the ones that it's on the top? Yes. Clean up the microwave. Yeah, we can use that one. Clean up the microwave. Mm -hmm. Clean up the living room. Clean up the living room. Yes. So we can use those part, the, the words in part A and the ones in part B as well. So let's um, write the examples here. You can go ahead and work in your notebook. I'll give you a couple of minutes and then we're going to check the examples that you have. How many examples? Uh, I would like for you to use all of them. So we have eight, uh, eight verbs here and you have to complete with two of these nouns. Tenemos oh, los ocho, aquí ocho verbos y tienen que completarlos con dos palabras que bien pueden ser de aquí, de la parte A o de la B. Lo más que puedan. Okay.
Okay. Um, let's see. Maylin, uh, what do you have for hang up, Maylin? Are you there, Maylin? Okay, um, Alexander, what do you have for hang up? Um, hang up the, the towels. Okay, what else? Um, hang up the... Your coat. Your coat. Okay, thank you so much. Your coat. Uh, Ruben, pick up. What do you have with pick up? I pick up the magazines. Okay, and the next one? Or in my case, I pick up your laptop. Okay, very good. Jocelyn, what do you have with put away? Excuse me, we can we can use pick up the kitchen? Yes, mm. you can, mm. yes. Okay. Pick up the, the, yeah, the dishes, pick up the kitchen, yes. Pick up the mess. <laughs> okay, Jocelyn, put away. Put away the towels in the bathroom. <laughs> okay. What else? Any other with put away? Put Rafael? away the magazine? Yes, that can be. Put away put the away magazine. Your laptop. Okay, very good. Excellent. Now, take out. Rafael, what do you have with take out? Take out. Take out the garbage. Okay, another one? And take out the towels. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Throw out, Carol. What do you have with throw out, Carol Rivera? Throw out um, the, your coat. coat. Okay, another one? Um, and to the mess. Okay, um, Byron. I don't know if it's right, but it could be the sentence like, I throw out the groceries that I ate before or eat before. Uh, yeah, that can be one. Yeah, that's okay. good. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. Now, turn off. Is there a volunteer with turn off? Luis? Uh, turn off the microwave. And turn off your laptop. Very good. Thank you so much. Now, turn on. Volunteer with turn on. Turn on the TV and turn on the, your cell phone. Okay, excellent examples. Very good. Um, questions so far. How do you feel? You think it's easier? Remember that this is practice. It's, um, that is what it's going to help you a lot is to practice. Um, how, how do you feel so far? Is that difficult? You feel more confident than yesterday? Yes, a little bit more than yesterday. Yes. <laughs> I'm glad difficult. to hear that. Uh, yeah, it's a little difficult, but I think that you feel more comfortable today than yesterday. Yesterday, like you, you got like scared with those verbs. <laughs> But this yeah. is just practice and uh, as much examples as you can write down, that would be better for you. 
Uh, so take that into consideration and try to build up sentences using the, the material that I sent over the WhatsApp. That is something additional that you can do. Remember that one hour, four times a week is not enough, believe me. Um, he, he is still scared now. <laughs> no, why? All right. Uh, how do you feel? That is important for me that, that you feel good, right? It's like, um, I'm not going to be running. I want to take all your suggestions into consideration, okay? Uh, so yesterday you told me we need more material, we need examples, so I modified the presentation for today in order to help you. I can continue doing that. Okay. Um, You're doing a great job. Uh, thank you so much for that. Okay, so if you need me to use more Spanish, you can tell me. Mm -hmm. That's not a problem. Or if you think that I'm speaking too fast, you can also tell me <laughs> and, I can, and I can slow down for you. Yeah, don't be afraid. Prefiero que me digan a mí o cambiar la cosa y no que se traumaticen y se vayan a terminar yendo. No. <laughs> <laughs> that is not the idea. Okay, so cualquier cosa, no tengan miedo. Si tienen pena de decirme, lo escriben. Me teacher, mire, siento que usted habla muy rápido. Cualquier cosa, no crean que no. Hate forever, Alexander, porque me dijo que hablo muy rápido <laughs> o muy despacio. No, 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 no. <laughs> I will appreciate that. Uh, so, okay. uh, we're going to. Oh, you're not... Sorry? I'm not speaking faster. You're speaking fast. I, I try. Okay, good to know that. Yes, I, I try to speak clear so, and uh, in a, as, as slow as I can for you. Um, okay. so, Thank um, you so much. You're more than welcome. All right, so then we have a request using some models. Uh, when we ask for favors or request something, we can use the model plus a simple form verb. Uh, when we are requesting for a favor, for example, we use the model and the simple form of verb. For example, can you turn the music down? We are asking someone to do something, right? Can you turn the music down? Could you close the door, please? Would you please take the, your garbage out? So in that case, when we request for someone to do something, we use models, okay? We can use can, could, or would. Those are models that we can use to ask for someone to do something or to request um, any kind of things like favors. But in this case, with can, could, and would, we use the simple form verb. Cuando ustedes estén pidiéndole a alguien que haga algo, van a utilizar los modal can, could, y would, y utilizamos una, el verbo en forma simple, quiere decir que no lo vamos a modificar. Can you turn the music down? Can you close the door, please? Would you please take? So, si ven aquí los verbos turn, close y take están en forma simple. Pero, ¿qué pasa cuando usamos would you mind? Si usamos would you mind para pedirle a alguien algo, entonces el verbo le vamos a agregar el ing. Esto quiere okay. decir acá con lo del gerund. Would you mind turning the music down? Would you mind closing the door, please? Would you mind not putting your garbage here? El would you mind es como más formal, es más polite, más amable. Es cuando usted pide algo de una forma súper amable, súper formal. Es como decir, ¿te importaría hacer tal cosa? Si vamos a pedir algo usando would you mind, recuerden que al verbo le vamos a agregar ing. 
eh, si está haciendo mucho calor y yo necesito que la persona que está cerca de la ventana la abra y le quiero pedir, eh, ¿te importaría abrir la ventana, por favor? ¿Cómo lo diría? Would you mind closing the window? window. Ok, pero quiero que la abra. Okay. It's okay. Would you mind open, open, open. the window? Would you mind closing Opening. 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 Excellent. Uh -huh. Would you mind, Would you opening... mind opening the window, please? Excellent. Okay. Very good job. So, is this clear? Es más o menos un insight de lo que vamos a, um, para los que van avanzando en la plataforma. Quería ya tocar esto para que más o menos tengan idea cuando lleguen a este ejercicio. La idea es que se adelanten y si pueden trabajar en el fin de semana. Eh, pues eh, that would be great. So, um, vamos a seguir con esto y vamos a ejercitar el tema. Ahorita solo quería que tuvieran una idea de qué es esa parte porque ya con eso se termina la sección 1. Entonces ya pueden terminar los ejercicios de la plataforma y nosotros seguimos ejercitando el tema el día lunes. Si Dios quiere. Ok. So, we're going to stop here. I know that you're tired. Remember that tomorrow, no classes. Enjoy your weekend and be safe, please. <laughs> Bye. Thank, Thank you, you for coming. Bye -bye. I hope to see you Bye -bye. all of you on Monday. Okay. Bye. -bye. Okay. Bye. 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 Sleep well. Good night, everyone. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good evening. <laughs> Enjoy your channels. <laughs> Bye. Good night.